Good day, everybody. So um, I'm just throwing together the first uh, freezer meal workshop, and we're going to do nine meals, and it's three different recipes. We're going to do three of each one. Um, I, after all my shopping, I worked it out, and it was $10. It cost me $90.40 to buy all the uh, supplies, and then it worked out to be $10.05 per meal or $2.51 per serving. So that's pretty darn good for the amount of stuff that we are going to be making today. Uh, the different meals that we're going to be making are spaghetti squash with marinara sauce, turkey and black bean chili, and red pepper chicken. Uh, any of these recipes can be um, altered or, uh, you know, like if you don't want to use the black beans, you can use kidney beans. Um, if there's a spice that you can't have or you don't want to put in, um, that's easy to uh, alternate as well. Just don't worry about putting those in. It just might change the flavor just a tiny bit. Um, but you don't have to put as much in. So like the chili peppers, if you don't want it um, as spicy, uh, you can put in less chili peppers or no chili peppers. Um, so the first one we're gonna be making is the um, spaghetti squash with marinara sauce. And I like to pre-prep everything before I get going. That way, when I start to put them together, it is just a matter of throwing things in the bag and getting it done. Um, so the first one again is the spaghetti squash with marinara sauce. Now I have this little container that I put my uh, bag in just so it'll hold it. We're gonna try this and see how it works. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in a can of crushed tomatoes. And I have a little scraper thing here because Can of crushed tomatoes in and then I'll show you how to seal these bags as well so that you can seal them nice and flat and we're gonna put a can of diced tomatoes Let's see if I can get this in there so a can of diced tomatoes and then we're going to put um, a tablespoon of honey. Now we're going to be doing this three times. So you'll need three cans of each of these. So we've got a tablespoon of honey. And then we're gonna do our seasoning. So I've already put all of the seasonings in one container. And this is the Epicure Italian seasoning, or you can just re use regular seasoning. Remember if any of these, I use a lot of the Epicure um, spices, but if you don't have them, you can use just the regular spices. So the Italian seasoning, uh, this has got the um, garlic aioli, which is like a minced garlic type, uh, um, powdered garlic, uh, three onion dip mix, uh, pepper, epicure salt, ep epicure pepper, um, and that's all in here. So we'll put that in there. And that is it. That is one bag ready to go into the freezer. So with the spaghetti squash, what you're going to do is when you're ready to cook this, um, you're going to take it out and put it in the slow cooker. Uh, if you need to thaw it out a little bit to get it out of the bag, um, all you need to do is, um, and I'll show you how I'm just squeezing the bags here. So I just put the bag down and then I just kind of squeeze it over to get as much air out as I can. And then it will lay flat. Okay, and because these are the zippered, uh, double zippered bags, you don't need um, they will seal good for the freezer. Um, and then we're going to have, I, there's going to be labels that you can print out or you can just write on the bag exactly 
um, how you need to do it. But I'm going to show you how to print some labels out that you can just um, tape onto the bag and then you know exactly what's in here and the date that it was uh, made. So that's one. one again it's a can of the crushed tomatoes a can of diced tomatoes tablespoon of honey these the recipes um, I'm going to be giving you to will have all of the ingredients that you need for each recipe uh, a grocery list and of course our spices um, so you can go ahead and uh, choose which meals you want and if you don't want to do um, all three you can do one of each um, I will be doing a few uh, classes um, throughout the year so there will be um, other recipes as well as um, other ways of yeah, doing it all. So there's our second bag. This just makes it nice because you've got everything ready to go. And um, when you cook the spaghetti squash in this one, so you're gonna take this out of the freezer and you're gonna thaw it just a little bit, enough to get it out of the bag. And then you're gonna put it into your slow cooker. Um, once you get it in your slow cooker, you're gonna take your spaghetti squash and you're gonna add your spaghetti squash to it, whole. So you wash your spaghetti squash first, and then you just place it in the um, slow cooker along with your sauce, and you're gonna cook it like that. The instructions for the cooking instru or the cooking instructions are um, on the recipe as well, and then. Once you get the spaghetti squash is cooked, then it will, um, you, you take it out and you cut it in half, take the seeds out and make it all, um, take a fork, fluff it up so that you get all of the spaghetti noodle type things from the spaghetti squash. So it's a lot of fun to, to see how those sp spaghetti squashes create such a spaghetti-like. Okay, and our spices, and that's our third one. So like I say, once the, once the prep is done, um, these actually come together really, really quickly. They don't take much time at all, and then they're ready for your freezer. To just grab out and make a meal when, you, when you're ready. Um, okay, so that's the first one done. Okay, now we've got the next one, which is turkey and black bean chili. So this one here, we're going to start by adding our can of tomato sauce. Okay. 
Okay. So a can of tomato sauce. We got two cans of um, black beans that have been drained and rinsed. One can, two cans of black beans. And again, if you don't want to use the black beans, you can use something else. So we've got one and a half cups of frozen corn. Now I have this in my cupboard. It's a corn medley. So I'm going to use that for one of my, um, one of my containers because I figured I may as well get it used up. So I'll use that for one, and then I've got the other ones, I'll use some, some frozen corn. So we've got our, um, fro our corn in there, so now we're going to add our spices, which again, I've put them already all into a thing. There's paprika, chili powder, cumin, oregano, uh, crushed red pepper flakes and garlic powder so I'll just put that in there and then uh, to this we're gonna add one pound of ground beef not ground beef sorry ground turkey um, so I won't close this yet but I do want to find Okay, so let's see if this will stand for me. Okay, it will. And then I can add my ground turkey after. So again, we're going to go with, let's just move you over a little bit. So I've got one can of tomato sauce. frozen corn and then our um, spices. There's bag number two. And for the last bag, it's going to be great because I am not going to have to do this like grab, feel like whatever you want for dinner grab it out and you can take these out and thaw them out in the fridge the night before if you remember to do that I never do um, I am always forgetting to take something out for dinner um, so what you can do is just take these and uh, put them in a tiny bit of uh, in your sink kit kitchen sink with a little bit of cold water and uh, it doesn't take long for them to thaw out a little bit. So we've got two cans of black beans. And you can also make these smaller. So you can take this recipe and you can half it. So if your family isn't as big, uh, you can make twice the amount of meals because you can just half the recipe in one bag and half into the other bag. And then you've got enough for um, even more meals. Um, so corn in there. And our spices. OK, 
Okay, so those are ready to go. We're just gonna get these kind of set so they stay there like that. So we're ready to put in our meat. I don't do the meat until the end. Um, that way I only have to touch the meat once. I always get my everything into the containers first and then um, I'll deal with that afterwards. Deal with the meat the last. Okay, so that's that one done. Now our third recipe is red pepper chicken. So for this one, we're gonna take two medium-sized red peppers and slice them up. So I did enough for all of them and I'm just gonna kind of, um, I might be able to get, take my corn and put it so I'm kind of kind of eyeball uh, this and make three packs and I'll put kind of a handful in each one to start with and I just got a mixture of peppers so it says red peppers but you can do a mixture of whatever um, because they had the packs of like four, so I just grabbed um, the pack and then. Okay, so red pepper, or uh, peppers, because <laughs> I did more than just red peppers. And then we want a quarter cup of olive oil. So I'll do a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil in each bag. Then we got one small onion. So again, what I did is I've got a Tupperware machine here that is fantastic for cutting my, up onions because I ball my eyes out when I cut onions. So I just peel them, slice them in a couple of little pieces, put them in here, and then pull this thing and it chops them up for me. It's fantastic. I don't cry anymore. <laughs> so we're going to go with about a cup of... Um, onions so this is basically one small onion that has been chopped up so I'll put that in each bag and I got and I'll just kind of take the rest of it and put some in each container here. Okay, so that's my onions added. Then we are going to do our um, spices. Again, I put them all in here. So we've got crushed red pepper flakes, black pepper, garlic powder, and salt. So I'll just add that to each bag. Okay, so that's it for that one. Now all we have to do is um, add our um, meat to these bags. The first set of um, recipe, the first recipe doesn't have um, meat in it so uh, you can if you want you can add um, meatballs to it if you want to and then you've got like a meatball marinara sauce um, so you can do that if you want just gonna get some these out of the way so now with the meat I'm just going to um, show you what I did here so I just went to the store and I bought um, packages of meat so they're about um, a pound maybe just over a touch so I'm just going to add one package to each um, container and just go with the knife here. 
So this is really nice because all I gotta do is take this and then I'm only touching my meat once. So this is ground turkey and I'm just going to add it to my bags. So there's one. Part. Okay, and there is my ground turkey for another one. Okay, this one is going in the chili. Okay, so that's that. I quickly wash my hands for the turkey. Okay. And now we will add our chicken to our other ones. And the chicken, I have just bought the um, packs of chicken. Um, I got all this, the meat from No Frills, um, so depending on where you want to buy your meat from. Um, so these ones here, um, I have a family of four, um, but my one daughter doesn't eat, uh, she won't eat chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four breasts and these are boneless skinless chicken breasts so I'm gonna put four breasts into each one of these packs and then that way I have either one breast left over that I can use for lunch the next day or my husband can have um, two, two servings <laughs> So that's four in there, and then one, two, three. Okay. So it looks like I'm gonna have some chicken left over, so I'm gonna have to um, find something to cook for supper tonight. So I've got four pieces left, so I can make something for supper tonight, which is nice. So I'll just quickly wash my hands again. This is going to be so fantastic because I have got, like, nine meals here that I can just pull out of the freezer and uh, it's going to give me so much time to do other stuff which is going to be fantastic so I'm just wiping the counter off from my spaghetti sauce and my other stuff. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to close these bags up and then they are also ready for the freezer. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's um, meal prep class. Um, like I said, this is my first one, so <laughs> hopefully it wasn't too uh, crazy for doing that. And uh, I will be doing a bunch of different recipes so I've only because I've only just started this I'm trying to get it all put together and, and written out and put into the uh, format of being able to share 
everything with you um, easily. So it's just taken me a little bit of time to get it all put together. But I wanted to at least get one class done just so you can kind of have an idea of what is going on and, and how it's all going to work. Um, and again, just because you don't have um, Epicure spices doesn't mean that you can't do these. Um, if you want some of the Epicure spices, um, then by all means, I'd be happy to get them for you. Uh, I also will be doing a few uh, classes online with freezer meals with the Epicure um, meal solutions. So if you don't have the meal solutions and you'd like them, I can help you with that. If you don't have the meal solutions and you don't even want to bother with the meal solutions, that's absolutely fine too. I'm going to be put posting, um, you know, a lot of different recipes on here. So um, you don't necessarily have to go with or have any of the uh, Epicure stuff. Um, I will be trying to do this for, for everybody. So um, just try and get as much arrow as we can, flatten it out, and there's our meals. So we have a total of nine meals that are ready to go. The other thing I should have done was I should have marked these and, and put the stuff on first, but of course I didn't, so huh, we'll do that next time. I'll make sure I get the bags and everything marked beforehand. Um, enjoy. I hope you en had a great time with me. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, you know, we've got nine meals here in half an hour. It probably took me uh, all together about an hour... I'm going to say an hour, just over an hour, to prep everything and uh, get it ready for the video and then, uh, and then get them all bagged up, which makes it really easy. Um, and I think, I think I might add some meatballs to mine. Um, so while I do that, and you can make your meatballs either um, fresh or you can buy frozen meatballs. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to add some meatballs to my little uh, spaghetti marinara ones here. So, um, okay. So again, hope you had a great time. Uh, put in <clears throat> either PM me or post uh, your email below if you would like to get the pack here that I've put together um, that shows you all of the recipes. It gives you the instructions on how to cook them. And it also gives you a... Um, grocery list if I can find the grocery list so there's a grocery list um, of everything that you need for making these these three uh, meals all right thank you have a great day everybody